This demonstration of absorbent W is taking place in a typical industrial area where spills are likely to occur. This product works just as well and is often used in open water and on creeks, streams and rivers. We have selected a retention pond adjacent to an industrial area where spill control is often an issue. This segment is demonstrating the deployment of the boom. We are not introducing any material into the pond to ensure there is no risk of environmental damage. We will demonstrate the very high degree of effectiveness of our products later in this demonstration. We are using Absorbent W product. This product is made from cellulose fiber which is waste to the process of making paper. Absorbent W is treated with surfactants resulting in a product that instantly attracts hydrocarbons and other oils and nothing else. Assemble the booms you will need. It is accepted practice to run two booms to ensure any spilled material escaping from the first boom line is caught by the second. Our booms are secured by metal clasps to the adjoining boom about a foot down their length. This creates an overlap between the connected booms to further ensure spilled material does not escape. The double line of booms are both being run across the open water at the same time. A light lead line is taken across by boat. The booms are then pulled across using the lead line. As they are fed into the water, the overlap is set so it rests against the adjoining boom on the upstream side. It is set the same for each of the boom segments. Once the booms are stretched across the water, the two boom lines are separated and secured to ground anchors on the shore. Make sure the ends of the booms at each shore are brought onshore so no spilled material can escape around the end of the booms. Absorbent W instantly absorbs oil from the spill. Deploying additional Absorbent W in the form of easily recoverable pillows and pads speeds up the process. They will remain floating until they are recovered. Once the material was on site, it only took about 10 minutes to fully deploy the two booms. Booms filled with Absorbent W settle down into the water so about two-thirds of the booms are below the water surface. Booms filled with polypropylene sit on the surface of the water and bounce on top of any waves, allowing material to pass underneath. Environmental damage and your liability could continue. We are shifting the focus of these product demonstrations to this large tank. This will allow us to use real contaminants without any risk to the environment. The first demonstration will show the different reactions of the polypropylene boom and the absorbent W boom in waves. The polypropylene boom is sitting right on the surface of the water and reacts instantly to the waves. The absorbent W settles into the water and reacts much more slowly because of this. In open water, spilled material would escape through the gaps between the polypropylene boom and the wave tops. Because the absorbent W boom settles into the water, Spilled material cannot escape the boom containment. These hydrocarbon-based products are frequently released in spills. Our absorbent products will remove the oil component of these spills as the following demonstrations will clearly show. The polypropylene boom we are using was acquired through a regular supplier. The boom is being left in the oil and water mixture for half an hour. When the boom is removed, you can see oil is being released from the boom back into the tank. In an open water spill, this would cause significant unwanted further contamination. When the boom is cut open, the oil can be seen coating the surface of the polypropylene fibers in a thin ring around the core of the boom. We are treating the absorbent W boom in the same way we treated the polypropylene boom. It is being left in the oil and water mixture for half an hour. When the absorbent W boom is removed from the water, the only discharge is water. You can see this both from the water spilling from the boom and the water falling back into the tank. There is no evidence of any oil being released. In a real spill, this means there is no recontamination. When the absorbent W boom is cut open, you can see the oil has been absorbed deeply into the cellulose fiber. 
As the W boom, made from recovered cellulose fiber, floats partially submerged in the oily water mixture, capillary action draws the oil out of the water and into the fiber itself. When the boom demonstration was completed, oil remained on the surface of the tank. Several absorbent W pillows were placed in the tank. Much of the remaining oil was instantly absorbed into the pillows. Finally, absorbent W pads were used to clean all of the remaining oil off the surface of the tank. All that remains is a few particles of saturated absorbent W, which could be easily skimmed off the water surface with a net. Competitive products fail to meet the standards set by absorbent W in three significant areas. Competitive polypropylene booms float high on the water. Gaps can exist under the boom, allowing the spill to pass downstream. Exposing polypropylene boom material shows how the oil has adhered to the covering and the surface of the material, but has not been attracted into it. Polypropylene material in this boom has been coated with the oil, but it has not absorbed any of it. Polypropylene booms as a result are ineffective in cleaning up an oil spill. Absorbent W material, on the other hand, clearly shows the distinctive color change demonstrating the oil has been absorbed into the fiber material. The oil entrapped in absorbent W will not leach out. Absorbent W really works. Absorbent W is the new standard.